The stability of the pound, or the fact that the pound appears to be stabilising now, is entirely due to the intervention of the Bank of England the other day. It's not due to Quasi's U-turn this morning. Quasi's U-turn this morning may help a little bit to further stabilise the pound, but its main purpose is to utterly puncture any credibility that he possibly has. As for uh, the Prime Minister and all her cups with in trust we trust, or whatever it is, in trust we trust, we can't. We can't trust this woman who throws her senior minister under the bus, to quote Nadine Dorries. We can't trust this Prime Minister who doesn't take responsibility for her decisions. To quote her yesterday, it was Quasi who took the decision about the top rate of tax without reference to the Cabinet. It wasn't discussed. It was his decision. She doesn't own the decisions of her colleagues. That is her job. Her job as Prime Minister, Prime Minister doesn't really do very much. Prime Ministers take responsibility for what everybody else in the Cabinet does. The Prime Minister is the steering icon of the Cabinet government. But she doesn't want to take that responsibility. Instead, she wants to blame her Chancellor and not accept his resignation, should it be proffered. Or indeed, demand his resignation, should it be proffered. When a Minister is out of line, as presumably he is, he should resign. This government, headed by Liz Truss, is fast losing control. So that's three things it's lost. Control, confidence and trust. And at the beginning of the Conservative conference, it's not a good sign. And meanwhile, ex-ministers are calling for a general election in the knowledge that Labour leads by 33 points. Well, of course, the minister, the ex-minister in question, is not somebody who's ever really been good at maths. But uh, I can't imagine the Prime Minister is going to call a general election with those figures in front of her. I can't imagine even in our wildest dreams there will be a general election. But I think she should go. I think there should be a replacement of the leader. And I think there should be an overhaul of the way that is done. And I think the wise thing to do during this conference would be for the 1922 committee to sit together and work out how they replace Liz Truss and with whom. Who could command confidence in these failing days of the Conservative tenure? Because at the very most it can only be two years. And I think it would be a very good idea, just as I thought it would have been a good idea for Boris when he realised the writing was on the wall, to bring other people, to bring new blood into the Cabinet. I think it would be a very good idea for the 1922 committee to bring new blood into the Cabinet and to set the stage for a period of time in opposition. That would be the sensible, the, hum the humble, the appropriate course of action. Of course, there may be bluster and the sad, sad delusion that this government could get things right, restore confidence and ensure a Conservative victory at the next election. I think anybody who believes that is going to be clapping their hands with Peter Pan.